the first thing we're going to do is open up our command palette, type in dyad, and select create component library. I'm going to name my library demo components and place it inside a uh, folder I have on my desktop. I'll go ahead and open up the Julia REPL. I'll enter the package manager by hitting the close bracket key and instantiate my project. Once it's pre-compiled, go ahead and type in test in the package manager. Once the test is completed, we can go ahead and hit backspace to get out of the package manager and back into the Julia REPL. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the fi a file we have inside our dyad folder, hello.dyad. Here we have a component uh, named hello, which represents a simple lumped thermal model along with an analysis called world, which uses the hello as its model. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is execute a using demo components. Now we'll go ahead and execute the world analysis and we will store the result in our variable called result. Once analysis is done, let's go ahead and plot our results. First, we will bring in the plots package, then we'll plot the result. And there we have it. We can see that our model starts at a temperature of 320 and eventually cools down to 300. So let's go ahead and rerun this analysis uh, with a different ambient temperature and a different coefficient of heat transfer. And now we have model beginning at a temperature of 320 and this time it heats up to 400, which makes sense because our ambient temperature is 400. Next, let's go ahead and look at some artifacts inside of our result. First, we're gonna bring in the diet interface and then we can call artifacts uh, result to take a look at what's in here. We can see here we have a few different elements inside of a result. So let's go ahead and store this simulation solution table inside of a variable called table. We can do that by executing this command right here. Okay, there we go. Okay, now let's go ahead and use some model libraries to compose uh, new components. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the package manager and we will add the electrical components library to our project. Okay, now the electrical components is inside our project. Let's go ahead and create some new components. So on the left side, if we go ahead and expand both the dyad folders and the generated folder, you'll notice that there are generated Julia files inside of the generated folder. And what's going on here is the dyad extension is generating these Julia files based on what dyad files it sees in here. So what we'll go ahead and do is create a new file inside of the dyad folder and we will name this file rlc.dyad because we're gonna go ahead and define an RLC model where we create a resistor, inductor, capacitor, and we'll link them all together. First, define a step voltage component. Once I hit save, the diet extension will do a little bit of work in the background and it will generate these step voltage Julia files. I'll go ahead and continue right here. I will create a RLC component right in here and I'll go ahead and hit save again. We can see we have the RLC files in here. And then lastly, we'll bring in, an, we'll create an analysis called sim RLC and I'll hit save. Okay, and we see we have a uh, sim RLC definition inside our generated folder. So now we're ready to carry out this sim RLC analysis. So what we'll go ahead and do is go result equals sim RLC. Once that analysis is done, we go ahead and plot results. Here we can see the voltage across the capacitor as well as the current across the inductor throughout the simulation. So by default, what's gets plotted are the variables that are unknown, otherwise get solved for, but there may be other aspects of the model that you want to plot. You can see here that we have capacitor and inductor as 
uh, capacitor voltage and inductor current as unknowns, and that's why we have it up here. But let's go ahead and plot the voltage across the capacitor. And instead of the current across the inductor, let's do the current across the resistor. And we can do that by executing this command right here. So we'll go ahead and plot this. And now you have it. So now you have a plot that shows the signals for the voltage across the capacitor as well as the current across the, the resistor throughout the simulation. And that's the end of the getting started section. Thanks for tuning in.